So one thing that uh, Frederick just told us about is extremely cool. Um, this is something they call the birdie, and it can go on a body. It can go on an object. Um, and it essentially, in this 22-channel surround environment, which uh, you know has spatial sound motion along X, Y, and Z axes, um, this amounts to a surround panner. Well, how does it do that? Well, we have these 3D cameras. Uh, you can see one with a little red LED on it up there. Uh, we have four of these in the room. Yeah. Um, and these track the positions of the birdies. And each birdie has these four little spheres, each of which is linked to a different camera. Yeah. And on each, each birdie, the four spheres, you can see, are in a slightly different, let me flip that around, are in slightly different positions. So this one is, is straight up here. This one is jutting out a bit. Um, and that's so, you know, I could, I could tell the difference. Let's say I had a modern interpretive dance company and I wanted the uh, surround pan of a certain type of sound to follow the motion of the dancer. Yeah. Uh, I could have this on one dancer and this on another. And each dancer could be um, controlling the panning of, say, a different uh, element of the arrangement in a synthesized score. Yeah. Or the panning. Um, or your, you can use that for an object when you are mixing a movie. That means if you say that you have a plane coming up, going left and right, and after that going down, you just have to take this body and so just making the movement in real time. And the machine is going to record the movement and reproduce the movement through the 22 system. And that's, uh, yeah, that's quite cool. I mean, we try now because, I mean, having a dancer with this on him is not so easy finally. And now we start to, we try to work on how we can reduce and just having a kind of, you know, little bracelet. Maybe I have to talk to Apple and put that in the new watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty remarkable. It's, it's, it's just all visual um, tracking. Is there any RFID in here or is it just visual? I, know, I mean, nothing. It's just a visual. Okay. It just a, this is just a pure plastic stuff. No technology oh, okay. in it. Nothing. It's just a camera, the 3D camera making and recognizing which ball and how the balls are organized. And like this, you can identify where, where which body. each ball is yeah. in relation to each camera. Yeah, exactly. So it's interpreting strictly visual information yeah. and turning that into surround 3D panning information for a 22-channel system. That is, that is, it, it's incredibly high-tech and incredibly low-tech at the same time. It's so simple. That's, yeah, it, it does something that doing with a pair of joysticks would be would be incredibly awkward and inaccurate. And it's not and it's not physical. I mean, you don't yeah. you don't feel the reality of the physical situation. With this, you perfectly feel it. You know exactly what you can do with it. You know, um, with the joystick, you never know. It's not really precise, finally, and it's not user friendly. You really need, and that's why we are working on that for the, with a dancer, with a dan different dancing company. It's just you see how we can transform a dancer as a panner or to transform a dancer as a, a sound generator. And we use this technology for the moment, and we really try to, to push the technology in an easy way for every kind of arts. Because it should be the same thing for a painter. You can imagine to have you know, this kind of thing on a pen, you know, just on a pen, and then the guy can make some, some movement when he's painting, and creating pans and creating sounds just with a 3D uh, you know, painter. And that's, you know, you have different access um, to the arts through this kind of technology. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, that's cool. Thank that's you. Great. Thank you for showing yeah, us. Please. This is so cool.